Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Low and Slow Crawlers channel. Just want to say happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for stopping by, watching all the videos, throwing likes, subscribing, comments. It's been such a fun year. I had so much fun looking at you guys' pages, reading the comments, and just interacting with all the viewers. Um, just again, just going to say thank you for a great year. More stuff coming in 2022. I know we slowed down a little bit in this past couple weeks, but... That's just because I had a baby boy. Videos are going to keep coming. But uh, just a quick little break. About two weeks, we're going to start filming again, getting out on the trails. But just again, thanks from Low and Slow Crawlers. Have a great weekend, everybody. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? In this video, I just want to go over this T-Rex 4 LCG comp build. Uh, it's an LCG because it has a LCG chassis. And I call it a comp build because it's basically class 2 Sork Illegal. Uh, we'll go over that later. I don't know much, but I'll tell you guys what I do know. Uh, I'm going to go from the bottom up and just tell you guys why I did what I did. I learned a lot on this truck. It started out as a T-Rex 4 Sport that I got in Sacramento like a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, I think I got it for about 200 bucks on offer up. I had no idea about crawlers. My first crawler, I think I had a low C night crawler for a while, but a little hard to customize it too much to it. But anyways, started the T-Rex 4 Sport. Uh, you'll see it way back on the channel. It had the blue body, and then I think we did the white and red body. Then I think I did the American flag Jeep body, and then it started going into the creep bodies. Black and teal one, white and gold one. And right now it has a Traxxas Bigfoot body. Uh, it's a cool body. I think it's like 25, 30 bucks. Um, pay an extra ten dollars and you do get the bumper. Really cool piece. It goes clips on in the back. Adds a little bit of scale. I'm not really into the scale, but uh, it does does add some cool looks to it. Um, Pactra, I think green. Timio gray. I kept the stickers on it, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, Trashix, Bigfoot body. Alright, so I'll start from the bottom up. I run Proline BFG Crawlers, G8, front and back. Uh, foams in the back are Crawler Innovation. In the front, we got Proline Dual Stage. I think the rears are a little bit firmer. A little less traction. In my opinion, just lets it kind of grip the rock a little bit. Uh, forward momentum instead of, you know, that grippy bite. So I like to run the rear a little bit firmer than the front. Uh, no wheel weights. Nothing on the rims, magnets. Um, these are the Vanquish Incision Grenade Rims. I've had them forever since I got the truck. They do great. I think it's still the original screws, original hubs and all that stuff. So I really like them. Uh, stock T-Rex 4 axles, no weight in the back, all plastic, all original gearing. These things are great. They're bulletproof. I love them. Uh, moving up, we got the IERC bumper. Great company. Really strong, sturdy, really good. Running the Traxxas Big Boar shocks with the mini spring mod. Can't go wrong. Really good, really good uh, upgrade for those shocks. The Trix 4 shocks are good, but these ones I just think are some of the best on the market. You can't beat them. They're just so adjustable, so smooth. I haven't emptied or filled these up in honestly six months. And just, I mean, they're pretty cool. They're doing great. I really like them. I run 60 weight in the back with the red spring. And I think I run 20 weight in the front with the pink spring. The front end just kind of drops out. There's not a whole lot of support. I like it to just drop down and grab the rocks. <laughs> Moving up, IERC sliders. Delrin in the rear. Brass in the front. I was trying a lot of things when I built this truck. That was one of the things I was trying. A lot of weight in the front. Minimal weight in the rear. And everybody, you know, agrees, does it. 35, 65, 30, 70, 40, 60, whatever. Um, I like to run... What is it? 65, 35, I think. 
I'm not sure. I haven't had it on the scale, but I think it's 65-35. Front and back real bias weight. But, um, yeah, so brass links, stock upper links. Don't really need to change them. They don't get in the way. Have full compression or a droop or anything like that. I could run high links, but I used to run a spacer right here and it would hit. So I just put those back on. Didn't even run the spacer after that RC bumper because it's very sturdy. So that's why I just run the stock links up there. Uh, in the work sliders, same thing. I got the links. Uh, they do great. Haven't had a problem with them. Really high quality, great price. Really cool sliders. This one, I got. Uh, Heated it up on accident. That's a little warped. I, I got it very hot, so don't do that. Front axle, stuck to your X4 front axle. Got lots of brass up here. Got the brass link, brass C hub, brass outer portal cover, stock middle section, and stock inner portal. I have them, but I figured it's too much weight. I started climbing funny, like started going like this on the top. So I just took some weight off and I'm really happy with it the way it is. Got an IERC front bumper up here with the winch line. Oh, I don't like to run a winch, but I think I got this at a, a RC swap meet from Javier in person. It was a really cool deal, so I picked it up. But uh, anyways, I run the stock drive shafts and the stock transmission. But I do run the In The Works front motor mount for the TRX4. And as you can see, if I flip it over, that motor rubs pretty much right on the drive shaft. It drops that motor down right where you need it. Perfect, perfect spot. So I run that with his sliders and his links. And uh, really happy with them. Electronics, got the Hobby Wing 1080. I love it for the price. It does great. If you guys have any questions about the settings, just... Uh, let me know in the comments, let you know what my settings are. Really smooth, lots of power, real smooth startup. Real cheap uh, Spectrum receiver for the DX5 Rugged. And uh, Home Savvy's white can motor. I think it's a 540 because I used to have it in a Capra. Not a thing of it, I could throw a 550 in there, but um, yeah, it's the Home Hobbies Chrome Master something something. I think it's a $50 white can motor. Like that, love it. For the servo, we have the NSD RC, 14 volt, great servo, great company, really cool guys, great team, uh, love it. And that's pretty much it for the T-Rex 4 LCG comp build. Um, LCG, this is the Northwest Scalar Designs Scattergun Chassis version 2. They kind of cut it out so you could save some weight here and there. Um, great chassis, lots of adjustments. I love the uh, the lines of it, like the, the way the chassis is shaped. It doesn't get hung up on anything. It is a true LCG chassis. It pushes all the weight forward, down, angled skid, all that. And running in the works skid. Lots of miles on this truck. Skid does great. Axles are great. T Rex four. You can't beat it. This thing has at least 200 packs through it. I haven't done anything to the axles or the transmission. And it's still a champ. I like to kind of run full droop in the front, not really in the back. You see the back kind of has some support. No support in the front. And it just slops down, grabs the rocks, reaches down, grabs it. Um, spacers. If you guys are in a jam, you can use some ball ends. That's a way back in the day type stuff. Just uh, if you run out of spacers or you don't have the money, use some ball ends. They work great. Put the body down low, as low as you can. Low and slow crawlers, you know how we do it. I actually broke the body post last time out, so I only have three. But uh, yeah, that's it. Guys, I think I covered everything. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to answer. Oh yeah, there's a link riser up there. I don't like to go too tall. Uh, just a little bit helps it a lot. I do have a really tall one and it seems to uh, give a little bit of torque twist. I'll be climbing and that front left tire will be wanting to come up. 
so I took it off and it, it stays down. So this short one seems to help a lot. I think it's from Shapeways. I'm not 100% sure. And I think that's it, you guys. Any more questions, let me know. We'll be doing another build video on the Axial 10 2, the blue chuck you guys been seeing. And also, we have this new guy I built. G Speed Element Base Build. You'll be seeing that on the video or on the channel pretty soon. Build video and one or two testing videos. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.